everybody. It's lovely to be back again. Uh, I just want to say thank you. As you can see, my mailbox has been really busy this week. So uh, thank you for all the cards. It's been lovely. And also, uh, I'd like to say thank you to Emma for my lovely candle stand and um, uh, the, the doggy biscuits and stuff that she bought me. So, so I've got little doggies. So that's lovely. So thank you. Um, also, as well, I'd like to just uh, let you know that it was uh, Julie Vincent that won um, the draw of last week for the reading. So uh, don't forget to keep going. Follow me on Instagram um, because the draw for this week is my book. Um, it's Pendulum Arts, which is that. Um, and it's got, um, it tells you all how to use a pendulum for your diet, for questions and answers in your life. It's pocket size or handbag size, so it's great. Comes in a lovely gift box, like so, um, as well. So it's lovely for presents. And then you get your lovely pendulum, which is a special pendulum, which is great to attune to the universe. And the book shows you how to attune it into your own universal law. Because if you don't attune it into your own universal law, uh, then it will start uh, not telling you the truth. So you don't let anybody else use your pendulum. You get a lovely bag to put it in. So you've got your bag, you bob it in your, pen uh, your pendulum, sorry, you bob it in your little bag, pull your string, put it in your pocket, get your book, put it in your handbag or your pocket, and then you've never, ever got to go without having questions that you might have uh, in your life. So it's great. The only thing is, don't use it for anybody else. So if anybody else wants one, um, as well as the, the Pendulum Arts booklet, we have got um, additional pendulums. So if you go on tracyposkit.medium um, on uh, Instagram, follow me and put a little heart on a post about the Pendulum Arts, uh, then you'll be in the draw and I'll be announcing the winner next week. And I'm sure Julie, uh, when you contact me, Julie, don't forget to contact me via Tracy Poskett Dash Medium Facebook page, um, and then you'll be able to book your reading. If you want to order Pendulum Arts, it's twenty nine ninety nine UK, so that's sterling. Uh, we do um, mail them out all over the world, so uh, go on. Tracy Poskett Dash Medium Facebook. Just put Pendulum Arts and someone will get back to you and sort your order out. Because we haven't quite got it on my website yet because we've been so busy this week. Um, I also would like to say thank you for the lovely messages that I got as well from uh, the people last week that watched the show. So I know you're enjoying this. Um, and also as well, it's nice that we have um, it's nice that we have um, people interacting with me. So, so don't forget, it's really important if you want to go into the draw to go on to my Instagram. We've got Taylor here, a reader. Yes, reading, Taylor? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite catch where you was from. Um, Colorado. The co uh, Colorado. Colorado, the United States. Yes, yeah. yes, lovely. Uh, thank you for calling me. Uh, how can I help you? Um, well, I was wondering if um, I, I can't find, I, I, I think my cat was stolen. My, my black cat, and his name's Toby. And I just, yeah. I, I just want to know, like, where I can get him, where I can find him. Right, so and if you I, right, one thing that I'm going to say to you is that someone is feeding your cat. Where you live, have you got um, have you got a, a how houses on, on the same street as where you are? Um, I'm sorry, what was that? Have you got how you know where you live? You live with houses like are you on a yeah. street? Yeah, because I'm being told that someone's taking a shine to your cat and is feeding your cat. Are you on Facebook? 
Am I on Facebook? Yes. If you're on Facebook, uh, yeah. put, a, put a notification on your Facebook because someone's feeding your cat. I'm being told that it's not in spirit. Your cat's not in spirit, so you've not lost your cat. But I'm being told that someone's taking a shine and they're feeding your cat. And I was told that where you live, um, you're on where there's like a, like a street where there's other houses and just above a little notification. They're not meaning to on purpose. They've not taken your cat in, but I'm being told it's being fed it's not in spirit and it's somewhere in the vicinity of where you live. Also as well, I mean, I don't know what your houses are like because I've never been fortunate enough to come to Colorado. But uh, also as well, I keep, being, I keep seeing a shed. Is there a shed? Shed. A shed. Um, you know a shed? I live in an apartment complex. But there's um, no, like there's apartment, like houses behind my apartment complex that have sheds and stuff. That's where, I, where, that's where it is. It keeps sneaking in. It's being fed and it keeps sneaking in. I've got, I got houses. On a, you're on a street, there's houses. I was told someone's feeding your cat. It's not in spirit. And it, sneak, it sneaked into somebody's shed. So I want you to put a notification oh, on Facebook. Asking people on Facebook. For, for, have you got a photograph? Um, where, uh, do I have a photograph? Yeah, have you got a photograph of your cat that you can put on Facebook? Yes, I have tons of photographs. Right, put a photograph of him on Facebook, of your cat on Facebook, because somebody has seen your cat, someone's feeding your cat, it sneaked into somebody's shed. So I feel that the person that was feeding it will come back to you. I feel that the person that's feeding the cat will come back to you. I'm being told to tell you to put a notification on your Facebook. Okay, um, and, and where should I look on Facebook? Like under like lost and found pets or something? No, I just put it on. I just put it on your normal Facebook because I feel someone that that knows you will will come back to you if you put a photograph on and just put it on your normal Facebook page. I'm being told that someone will come back to you and say, "Oh, we didn't realize, and we know you. You know, we've we've been feeding your cat. Get that really strongly." And then I'm being told that it's kind of looking to a shed. You're going to find your cat. Oh. That's a guy. Oh, yeah, I know I'm going to find him. Yeah, do you want me to just check? I don't, I don't use tools, but I do use a pendulum. This one's for myself, and this one's a work one. That's why I can use it for other people. But let me just, ask, let me just check with the pendulum for you, just so that we can just confirm it for you. Right. Right. Because okay. it's going out clockwise, that's my no. So your cat is definitely not in spirit. It's definitely in your vicinity of where you live. So I feel that if you get that photograph okay. on your Facebook, someone that knows you on your own personal Facebook, someone that knows you will come back to you. Someone's been feeding your cat, not meaning to, they're not meaning to steal your cat, but just because they've been giving it some food. So it keeps going back because it keeps getting food. And it's actually sneaked into a shed. So the person that's been, but I bet I can put my hand on my heart and say to you, the person that gets in touch with you will be telling you that they've been feeding it and they'll have a shed. If they'll look in the shed and the cat will be there. Okay. All right, darling. Does that help? And it's next to my house. Yes. And, Sorry, and it's and it's yeah. behind my house or next to my house. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, darling. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Mm, bye. Yeah. Thank you very much. So now 
what have I been doing this week? I've been doing loads and loads of things this week. Um, there was going to be the singer-songwriter on this week, um, uh, but unfortunately she had a gig, so it's going to be next week. But what I have been doing is I've been uh, doing a lot of meditating. So, um, And I've been asking for a nice meditation that I'll be able to do on TV for you all to join in. So next week I've got the singer-songwriter with me. And then the week after that, for those of you that are wanting to do a 10-minute meditation, uh, don't forget to watch the show. Because I'm going to be talking you through a wonderful meditation that will connect you with your loved ones that are in spirit. It's very, very safe to do. It doesn't, um, it, you know, it doesn't bring anything untoward around you in your home. Um, it's a lovely, relaxing, just 10 minutes. And you'll feel the vibration of your own loved ones in spirit. So I feel that that's something that everybody needs right now. Um, because one, we're just getting over the pandemic, even though we're still in it, which is not as bad. And two, um, because it's getting up near towards at Christmas. And every time um, you, you, you listen to people and in the shops and things, you see, you're starting to see Christmas. And this is a time when we really miss our loved ones even more. I know we always do, but we miss them even more. So what I've done is I asked my guides to give me a quick, nice 10-minute meditation that I'll be able to take you through. So don't forget to watch the show. Well, watch it every week, but especially week after next for the meditation. Um even if you're not bothered about doing the meditation, it's nice to hear and it's nice to have that technique. So what I would suggest to you when you're watching the show, um, just have something that you can record on um, and, and then you'll not forget it. Mary, Mary, I've got Mary here now. Hello, Mary. Hi. How you Hi, doing? Mary. Hi. Uh, what can I do for you, love? Um, I'm I'm going to ask you, um, can you give me the initial of my... Sorry. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I want you to give me my initial, the initial to my boyfriend. I want, you want me to do what, sweetheart? Is that, say that again. Me, like, do you see me dating anyone? Can you give me the letter of their first name? Do you know what, Mary? I can't, I can't hear you, sweetheart. Right, okay. So, right, okay. I've just, so you're wanting to know whether you're going to ask someone to come into your life? Have you just met someone, yeah. Mary? Okay. Mary, have you, have you been taught, have you been communicating with someone? Have you been communicating with, 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 with a male? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. Um, because uh -huh. I'm getting, I, I, I'm, I'm getting someone that's in the air, in, in the vicinity. So it, it's around you. The energy is around you. So I feel you've been communicating with someone, um, but you haven't. It hasn't stepped over any any barriers yet. So it's only just getting to know each other. It's not, um, it's not turned into anything romantically or even into a, a date as such, but I'm getting communication flowing. I'm getting um, that you're very safe to go forward with this when you're asked and you're invited to go, um, to go, and, uh, you know, to go out with this person uh, for, for an evening. I'm being told that this person um, hasn't, um, got um, anybody around them pulling at the heart and being told um, that they're really, really nice um, totally different to what, um, not the last one that you was talking to, but the one before that that was neat, that well, that you was kind of dating around they're nothing like that, there's someone that is very, very committable uh, someone that you will get you'll get on really, really well because You've got a lot of things in common. So it will be, as you get into your own, when you meet each other physically, um, the communication will flow very, very easily. 
um, and it won't be hard work. Um, you'll feel like you want to hold yourself back because you will feel a, a really strong chemistry around this person. But this person also will have the same chemistry for you. Um, I want to say to you, don't let the insecurities of what you've been through in the past uh, hold you back from enjoying something that's going to develop over the next month for you uh, to do with, uh, uh, with, with a companion. And that by the time you're looking out then towards the end of December, you will have developed a really good relationship. I'm feeling with okay. you next year for the first time in a long, long time in your life. You will not feel that you're alone. You're not a lonely lady because you've got people around you, but you will feel it, you'll be feeling that you're not alone. And I'm also being told that this person doesn't need to come and suddenly meet you today and then want to move okay. in with you um, tomorrow. I can't hold it. Uh, I, 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 I can't Sorry? Hold it. I can't hold it. Hello? Hello? Uh, you've got your own independence, um, and so have they. And it'll be lovely that you can join a really strong bond very, very gradually, and it'll be very, very positive. And do you know what? I know that you're going to build a really good relationship, and by this time next year, you'll be making plans together to move forward and come together. Uh, you'll be talking about living together. You know what? It's time. You've come to the time of your life where um, you're going to have commitment and you're going to have someone that is really, really good for you and you're really good for them. So I want to say to you, don't hold back. When they ask the question, would you like to come on a date? Would you like to come out for a meal? Whatever. Just go with it. Oh, you're going to be really happy. Okay. We're really, really happy. But, you know, it, they're, they're not, they've not stepped in yet. They're just around you. Does that make sense to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm trying to see have I already met this person yet. Pardon? Have I already met that person? Yes. They're around you in communication first. Okay. And then you're going to meet this person that's around you in a physical sense, and in, as in going out on a date, and you're going to get on really, really well. You're going to have to allow, allow yourself, um, as they're giving to you, for you to open your heart up, and don't be worried about um, what you've been through previously, because you've been through a lot of hurt. I've got a lot of yeah. yellow in your heart. And that is courage, telling you to move forward um, and not to hold back. Don't let you, what you've been hurt in the past, it'll be nothing like that. It'll be absolutely wonderful. Um, I also keep getting um, a purple wave coming in to your aura as well. So um, this person um, will be stood on their own two feet financially as well. So they're not going to need anything from you. And you're going to have to allow yourself to be treated and to be taken out and to be to be looked after because you're not used to that. But also as well, I'm being told um, that by February of your in your own personal life anyway, you're about to turn a corner financially because at this moment in time, you're kind of having to watch your funds. You watch your funds; they're there, but you're watching them. You're not, you, you haven't got abundance financially. I'm getting things going on an upward spiral financially for you uh, from February, but I'm getting the meeting of love now over the next month, it's growing into a bond and you're feeling really, really happy. So what I want to say to you is this person won't need anything from you other than you. So you just enjoy every step of it. And don't let yourself... Um, feel that you're going to be let down like you have done in the past. Because bless you, you've not had the best of luck when it's come to relationships. It's your time now. It's your time and it's your time to shine. It's also your time uh, to be 
a lot better off financially into next year. When you do live together, if you go for it within the next 12 to 18 months, um, they, you know, it will be something that you're choosing to live in together uh, as opposed to you are having to take them into your home. So it's really positive, Mary, very positive for you. So just, I would just go with the flow, enjoy every minute of it, um, and, and don't feel that you're going to be let down if you let your heart, um, if, you, if you let your heart feel love because you're going to be given love. Can I ask, can I help okay. you with anything else, Mary? No, ma'am. No, has that helped you? Yes, ma'am. It helps a lot. Good. All right. Thank you, Mary. Happy dating. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, what I'm going to say to everybody now is... Obviously, we're just about to come into quite a social time anyway, aren't we? Um, you know, um, and it is a time, you know, coming up to the festive season, especially in the UK, um, when you're socialising, that we do bump into people and we do, we do meet people. But, you know, I just feel, and I got this very, very strongly in a meditation that I did as I'd be writing a course, which I'll tell you about, um, on another on another night on the show, um, and I I was told that the the universal energy is shifting so that people can come together more like friends, not just in relationships, but um, that family um, issues will be healed. So if people have got problems with family members, um, it's a good time for you to talk out and and and, and sort things out. So they'll be healed. Also, as well, um, don't feel sad if I'm meeting a lot of people that have got a lot of friends that are moving out of the line. But don't feel sad because what they're doing is they're being guided to come out of your life so you can fill a gap uh, with new people. And it's time for new relationships and new bonds. Also, as well, because it's got the wave of love very, very strongly this month. I said this last week. If you've got any problems with your personal relationships, don't have the fear of stepping forward and talking about it. Because I feel because of the energy of love that's coming around the universe at this time, this is a really good time um, for you to sort out any ruffles that are to do with the personal relationship. And, you know, it's very, really strange because sometimes we want to say something to our loved one and we think we don't want to say it because it might hurt them. But really, in a way, as you'll see, if they speak to you about things that they're holding back, that can kind of make you feel loved. So by actually being having the confidence of being the person that can speak out, that actually will uh, be able to um, get them communicating back. So take advantage of this wave of healing and love that's in the universe at this time and get those relationships healed. So I'm going to say it again because I keep repeating it because, you know, people contact me and say, I couldn't get on. Please, please don't forget we've got pendulum apps, we've got the book, you can get the book, you get the pendulum, you're in the bag, in the box, in the gift box, and um, then you are going to draw, if you go on to Tracy, Foskit dot medium Instagram. Look for the pendulum arts uh, post and put a heart. You will be in the draw. As Julie was in as part of the draw last week. Uh, when I, when she gets back in touch with me, so don't forget Julie um, for you to get your reading. And someone will win pendulum arts if you want to order it. Then. Uh, either put a DM in my Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, go on Tracy Foskett dash medium Facebook. Just put hi pendulum arts. Someone will get back to you. Um, and it's twenty nine ninety nine of um, uh, English sterling, but it does get delivered all over the world. The reason why I keep repeating this, it's not because I'm 
selling it is because, well, obviously I am, because it's beautiful. Um, and people say to me, you know, we're coming up to Christmas. You know, so last year when you brought your book out, I didn't find out about that. So that's why I'm telling you about it. I just want to say to everybody this week, please, please, just have a little think before you pause, or a, a little think and a pause before you move forward and jump into anything of communication. Take the love that is in the universe and wrap it all around you. I really hope that you've enjoyed joining me this evening as much as I've enjoyed uh, joining you. Hope the readings have helped. Um, keep the cards coming in. I'll have a wall full soon, so thank you. Um, and the only thing that's left for me to say is have a really good rest of the week till I see you next week. And I am sending absolute love out to all of you. And thank you for viewing me. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.